All right, welcome back to Prestige Motorsports. Uh, basically today, just kind of show you a big block that we did for uh, a very good customer up north. Obviously it's cold, so he probably is not gonna be boating this year. Um, took a long time to obtain some of the parts and pieces, the blower, uh, as everybody knows right now, COVID season, it's just hard to get stuff. But what I wanted to highlight here, we've talked about marine combinations in the past, and we've also talked about this uh, oxygen sensor wedge plate. So basically what we have here is an Imco Marine exhaust that we've provided for the client and the stainless steel riser. We always encourage if it's fuel injected you're gonna need this for the oxygen sensor but on a carbureted application we still want to put an oxygen sensor in there even if it's temporarily to make sure that the tune-up in the boat is correct. So that being said, on this manifold and tailpipe application, it's actually what they call a dry joint. So, um, or sorry, a wet joint. So water basically flows around this manifold and there's a passage in here that brings it up into this two-piece uh, tailpipe. So the reason I mention that is just to kind of point out that we always go the next level. So these O2 plates were designed for a dry joint, not the wet joint. So a dry joint would have no water crossing through here. There'd be an external hose that would connect it to the tailpipe. So in this situation, what we've done is modified that. You can see two three-eighths or seven-eighths, sorry. Yeah, I think these are three-eighths or seven-sixteenths holes. And that allows us to pass water through the O2 plate and into the tailpipe. So I know it's very minuscule, two small holes. Um, for those of you that maybe are doing your own application, building your own motor, or want to do this, obviously it can be done. The thing to keep in mind, and there will be instructions hung on this engine when the customer gets it, <clears throat> because of the orientation of this, you can see it's got a little bit of slop, the bolt holes are a little bigger. What has to happen, based on where the water uh, passages are, this will have to be pushed all the way to the rear so we completely seal it. And then obviously we've got a gasket that we've punched the holes in for the water crossover. We wanna make sure all that slid back and then put our tailpipe on and tighten it down. And that's just gonna ensure that we've got proper sealing to where we don't have any external water leaks. All right, so, uh, again, part shortage wise, Hardened Marine, that's where we obtained these, they did not have their oxygen sensor and gauge kit. So what we did is handy dandy Holly, it's a nice gauge. I think these kits are about $200, which isn't bad because the sensor itself, this is a 4.9 Bosch wideband and the sensor alone is about $100. So you get the sensor and the Holly gauge. Uh, obviously, if you do Hardened Marine, same thing, they provide the gauge and the sensor. Um, so that's kind of the kit, again, just example of going the extra mile for the customer. And uh, we obviously encourage all of this. We're talking Marine here, but we encourage this with all of our hot rod customers that are, if you're still on a carbureted application, um, it's handy to always have an oxygen sensor gauge or air fuel meter in the vehicle with a sensor in the exhaust. That's gonna allow you to properly tune the carburetor in the application and if it just starts running funny one day, you actually have some data. Is it running lean? Is it running rich? Maybe I got fuel boiling or vapor lock happening. It's a very, very handy tool to ensure that you're satisfied with the engine package you receive from us and that it's tuned properly in the vehicle. Thanks again for watching, have a great day.